So let me address a few of the previous solutions. So let me talk first about Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. So here you have the link also in the description. And just to give you this big warning, do it at your own risk because this you can use it to overclock and change many, many things in your processor. Okay, so you have a lot of information here and going into details. And just to show you how it looks like, I already have it in install. And I mentioned that sometimes this tool will install some configuration files or it will change something and it might slow down your computer. But here you have all the description, you have your speed optimizer, you can overclock, you can change the voltage and everything of the computer. So you can make it run slower, faster. You have many things, but please do it at your own risk. I'm not responsible if you break your computer. So this is one of those solutions. I play a lot with this this one, but with another computer, not this one. And here, we just to mention that you have also, you, you can access a lot of information with your processor. It's much, much more than this. So you, here you have the, this tool and you can add more options so you can see what you can get there. But what I want to mention here that you have this throttling here that is enabled the power limit, the throttling power limit and and where's the other 12 thing? And those are the ones that sometimes are kicking in and slowing down everything now in your computer. So I don't see it here, but yeah, you can add it here. So just go here and you can find that. So it gives you a lot of information, but let me give you the final warning. Be careful because you can damage your computer using this utility. Okay, so let's move to the next possible solution in that list that it gave you previously, which is disabling the CPU throttling. This can be done system-wise or application-wise. So I already have here the command. So to do it application-wise, you can do something like this. You type, you open a PowerShell, a PowerShell Windows. I have it here. And you can type that command there. And then you give the path to the application. So in this case, this will be a a sample application, which is VMware, which <laughs> related to the next to the next solution, and that's all. So this will applica uh, apply only to this one, and you do it only once. Important that you need to have PowerShell. So and to mention, if you don't have it, you can go to the Windows Store PowerShell. You can download it there. However, I recommend you to install Windows Terminal because likely also you have. Uh, you have Windows existing Linux. Um, better to insert, but if you want to stick with PowerShell, use the preview. This is more powerful. Or you can go to Windows Terminal preview also that you have <clears throat> Windows Terminal preview. Okay, you have it here for 4.9. This is the one I use. Okay, so you type those commands there and that's all. The other option, it is using the group policy editor. So just look for that. Let me show you, I go, let me put it there. And then you're going to look for this specific policy there. So you go to computer configuration that you, I have it there. Then administrative template system. So here you have many policies. So you need to maybe many of the, the, the ones that you find here can apply to this issue that we have that the, you are using the efficiency cores and when you should be using the performance, but you need to explore a little bit more. So you go there and then when you find this one, you just click there and you can disable that. This is system wise. Uh, Honestly, I haven't not I haven't configured this one. The, this is the full option. I don't want to. I I tried to disable and I don't know. I, I didn't I didn't check many things, but probably will give you problems. So I leave it like this. It's not giving me problems and checking what is the applications that are running efficient mall efficiency mall and so on. So it is okay, but it's up to you. But do do your own. You, you, your own research when it comes to, to modifying this group policy. So yeah, this is for this, uh, this is the, for the solution. Let, let's move to the next one. Okay. In our list, the next solution is change power mode, use performance or probably balances. You are not already using, using that one. So that one also you need to, to, to look here. So let me look power mode and you have it here to optimize you now the device performance. And when you go here, you have it here. So in my case, I have it in balance, but you can put it in per best performance. Be careful about this because as I say, the fan is 
going to kick in and it's going to be very noisy but this is the one that is going to give you the best performance it might happen that you have it here best power efficiency and you can see here that you have the war efficiency so everything will go into efficiency mode so try to have it at least in balance and if you want to go for the best performance put this one but it's not a guarantee that everything will go in those it will run in in those performer core so then we have some other solutions to avoid that problem. To mention also that you have, I talk about the battery care mode. So also here you can set up some, some things about the battery care. I also mentioned that avoid you know, uh, switching off the screen and putting the computer into sleep mode. So see that while I unplug you know, to electrical network, I do not, everything is disabled and just use these options when I'm in battery mode and have in mind that if you are in battery mode, everything is going to, to go to, to efficiency mode. So here you can also set those options. So let's move to the next item in our list. So the next item in our list is specifying the, the core affinity in the virtual machine. So this one can be also done locally or globally. So to do it globally, in this case, I will give you an example with VMware, but you have a similar solution using VirtualBox and other virtual machines. So basically, you need to look for your main configuration file. In the case of VMware, it's always located, located here, and you need to add the core affinity there. So let me go here. I already have it here. And here it is, and this is the configuration. I have a few modifications. So this is the original one. So th this is the original one. You, I don't have anything, and this is the modified one. So you, you only need to add this information, which is related to the course. And you need to know which are the performance and efficiency course. So in this case, and let me point out again to this utility that by looking at this one, I know that my performance course are from zero to seven and as it is a per three days from zero to 15 and from 16 until 31, it will be deficiency course. So see that I set up everything here. I put everything true, 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 meaning that I will use in all the performance core in my virtual machine. Okay. This is not now I'm kind of isolated of my operating system and launching a virtual machine and um, which by the way this requires another video okay the virtual machines and something it's quite complex there but i managed to get everything running in performance in the virtual machine by forcing in this way or by running as an admin uh, as an uh, administrator so that is my choice if i'm using virtual machine administrator and then the rest you put it here false and it's not going to use efficiency efficiency mode so this is don't globally and you can also do it locally so globally means that you can have many virtual machines and just to show you here let me open that i have been where where station which is fantastic and i have all these virtual machines i can do globally and for every virtual machine that i open that is applied automatically or you can go and do it locally so you can go to the directory where you install that virtual machine and you're going to have this file the being B, B, vmx you go here and simply at the end, you need to add exactly the same inf information that you have, that we added here, that I have here. So you put it here and that way you are going to force to have affinity mode. So this applies if you are using VM, VMware or virtual machines. And it's similar to another situation that later we're going to see if you are, if you want to do the affinity mode, but directly in Windows with a process. If you haven't seen a virtual machine running in Windows, let me show you here. I launched my virtual machine. And remember, virtual machine, you have another operating system within your operating system. So this is my guest operating system, which is Linux and can be any, or any operating system running in Windows. I configured this virtual machine to have six core. So look at the difference. Globally, my computer, I have 32 uh, th threads or 24 but I configure everything by, by virtual machine by to use only six. So talking about the affinity, I force my affinity here in two ways. You can, as the trick I show you, that configure your 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 <clears throat> uh, your BMX file or set the global configuration to force to use those cores, or you can run as administrator.
In this case, I'm running as a normal user. If I do something, I know that it might be the case that the operating system is going to bend this task to an efficiency core. But using my personal experience, always start try to give to give it uh, a high a high priority level. But things get really funny here because if you run, let's say that you you force your affinity, you are running also as, as administrator, and you know that you are forcing everything to be in performer cores. It's quite funny because if you minimize here the window, you will see that automatically it's going to, to automatically it's going to change to to efficiency. Honestly, I found that extremely strange because it's not related at all. So no, I don't, I have no idea why is that happening. And I mentioned also in some those extra comments that is when you are working now in Linux, it is better to use. You have these commands, nice and re nice and so on, that you can use to change. Actually, you have it here the priority level. So a high priority level means that that process is nice to the operating system. That is, it uses less resources. So what you need to do is reduce the nice to go to zero or use a negative value. If I will recall, the minimum value is minus minus nine. But that is another video. Okay, I not go, I don't want to talk about this. But in case this is just in case if you haven't seen the virtual machine. So I have it. I really like because I have this. Uh, I do a lot of development here and uh, in Linux. And if I don't want things crashing with Windows subsisting Linux, I keep everything encapsulated here. I do periodic backup. So that's why I still keep it. But then when I want to go into productions, I go into Windows subsistent Linux and I can use the full potential of, of the computer as Windows subsistent Linux. And let me open here. Let me go here and let me open the same operating system that I have. So basically this is OpenSUSE 15.4. And here I'm opening also OpenSUSE 15.4, but Windows subsisting Linux and see that this one and running exactly the same command, it, it can see all the all the all the cores. Same concept here that you need to try to force when you run this one, run it as administrator. So you force everything to be into the 15, into these two rows that you know are the performance and the rest is efficiency. So you can do also some binning here. Uh, uh, as I say, also, I strongly recommend you to, to, to install the latest Windows update because previously I was having a lot of problems here, but after that update, things are working better. In particular, my applications, compiler, running in parallel, the machine learning and stuff like I do, the numerical simulations and so on, it's working much, much better. So yeah, this is all for this and now Let's move in our list to the next item, which is affinity, but in our operating system and windows. So the next item in our list is set the affinity mode. So let's see how it works. So this one you can set, you need to go here, windows, you open the task manager, or you can look at here, it's up to you. I like to do it like that. But open the task manager. I have to say that it's very powerful in Windows 11, just comparing to Windows 10 and older versions. Uh, now it's very powerful. So just to show you a little bit in processes, you have all your processes running. Uh, you can arrange by name and so on, but I want to arrange by status just to show you something about these icons. So this means that it's suspended. This is not doing anything. And when you need it, it will start. So saving energy. But when you see this lift here, this means that these are running in efficiency. So basically we have the web browsers that are running in efficiency. And for what I read, I was looking that always all the web browsers, they run in efficiency mode. You cannot force them to, to become, to use the performance course. And I have this software Cantasia. I'm doing a free publicity to a lot of, a lot of applications are doing free. Free publicity. I'm not affiliated to anybody. So this is one I use for recording. I know it's also running in efficiency mode. Okay, using the efficiency core. Also, I cannot force it to to use the performance. It's a designed. Okay, they design it like that. Uh, but you have all the applications. The rest that you see that you don't have any of those icons, you can just force the affinity 
or you can put it into efficiency mode if you want. So this is the processors here. You have the performance as well, what I have been showing you. And just to mention that probably you have in here the, the fan, and I hope that the fan, you, you can hear the fan because I'm recording everything using the microphone of this computer and using the AI to cancel the noise. So I think it works very well because I checked some re previous recordings and you cannot hear the fan, but the fan is, is kicking in. So you see that I'm running many processes in background and it's this speed using many things. And well, this is the Asus Pro R, another free publicity, fantastic computer. I recommend it. I always return it because of this issue with the course. So just to, I, I digress a little bit. Let me move to details where we're interested to set the affinity. So as you move to details, you have here all the processes. Maybe you're going to see different columns because I added here. So if you want to add columns, you can right click here, select column, and you can add whatever you want. So here you can scroll down and you have many things. So here, basically, I added, so look at that, I added here the power throttling. So I know what applications are using power throttling. And remember that power throttling is just energy efficiency. So it keeps, it, it will force to use the low speed cores to consume a lot of energy. That's all. So here, I know these are the specific that I enable and you have some other information, but just to show you, I, you right click and see that you can enable disable the efficiency mode. So you did, click there, you disable, but you cannot disable it for this one, the web browser, and also Camtasia is this one. I try and it's gray out, you cannot enable this. But as you go here, for instance, this one, you can efficiency mode and you can put it and it going, it's going to give you a warning. F read that warning because you have to be very careful because if you put a, an application to efficiency mode, maybe your operating system is going to become unstable. So be careful about that. So this is one solution to set the power throttling probably goes to to a previous one, but we are talking about affinity to set affinity pretty much the same right click and see that you have here affinity. So here what you do is select the processes that you want to use. So in this case it's using everything including efficiency. So it might happen that your clock speed will be low because it's the, the, the the task is pinning those specific efficiency, efficiency cores. But you disable everything and you say that I know that the CPU 0 to 4 or 0 to 3, those are performance and bringing back this tool and another free publicity. Uh, you have it there, but th this is a free tool. So you see that this one's okay. I enable this one and I'm going to force this application to run this one. So this is the affinity that we do at the core level. The, Pinning, binning, binning, binding to, to, to the specific processor. Uh, I would click cancel here, but just to mention something that this is something that every time that you open the application, you need to do it. So it can be a little bit time consuming, but also you can force this processor affinity using a scripting. I'm not going to show you that, but you can search that in the internet, how to use scripting in the PowerShell, and you can force every time you open that application to use a specific course. But the solution that I'm showing you is manually. Each time that you open, you need to do it manually. So this was the solution, processor affinity. And now we move to the next one that it will be quite similar to this one. So in our list of solutions, now we go to the number two that we need to set the priority of this ta of that task or process. So here I am still in the task manager. Here's where we set that. And to set the priority, as for the affinity, pick up a task, any task, right click and see here that you have the priority. And most of these tasks and running in normal priority. Also, you can add the column to see all the priorities. So basically what you do here is you want to give more priority to, to a specific ta task. Just, just pick up that, that task here, and then that one will have higher priority over all the, all the other tasks. So this solution works very well also. Again, it's something that if you do it here, it will be something that each time that you open that application, you need to do it. So for instance, I would change this one to high. It's going to give you a warning. And again, it might happen that the system is going to become unstable. So be careful. 
So you just click there or you can go back to normal priority, but always be careful when doing when doing this. So this is how the this one works. So pick up your process. So in my case, I haven't shown you what application I was running. I was running a CFD solver. Actually, it's Fluent. Let me open the window. And for those using Fluent, Fluent is going to give you a lot of problems. So you need to use, you need to run it as an administrator and try to force the affinity the core affinity. I have many problems. I get in contact with, with developers of Fluent and they, they also say they are aware of these problems when using hybrid architecture. Okay, so be careful about that. And that is the one that is running in background and that's why the, my fan is always on. So this is the other solution. So in my case, for instance, I, I can go, if I want to go Fluent, select Fluent, right click there, priority. I have it already in high priority. And also you can, if you want, you can force the affinity to the specific course. So just to show you, let me do it. So this one I am running, I think if I would recall, well, let me select all, but if I would recall, I was running with a core, this one. So let me select 15. I know that all these are my power uh, performance course and that's all. So here I'm really forcing the application to, to use those cores. If I go to performance, I'm going to see here, but actually now I have it. It is moving between one and the other, but this is how I do it. But have in mind that, yeah, Fluent might, might, might give you some issues. So now we move you to the last one. And the last one, it is related to this one. It's very simple. Whatever you're going to run, and let me go here and let me run close in this case, Fluent. Okay, I'm going to close and launch the application to show you one. So you go there, run an as administrator. And remember that you are running as an administrator. You have high priority over all processes except for those uh, critical system processes. Okay, but since, since such as uh, productivity, utility and so on, you're going to have priority all over that stuff. So it start to kick in now the, the course and it's forcing to use all the performance. And if you want, you can come here and do the same trick. So priority, I can force it to a higher level. And then also you can do the affinity to those processes. But see that I, I close it and then I open it and I, ha I have to do it manually. But there is a way to script uh, this for this specific application and you can do it. Uh, automatically all the time. So it's up to you. So yeah, this is the list of all the potential solutions to these problems. Personally speaking, also stick with the one run as, a, as an administrator. My personal experience, 90, 95, 98% of the time it works. Then you have those strange tasks that give you problems. Uh, personally speaking, machine learning is giving me a lot of problems and this fluent application is giving me a lot of problems. Running being aware and compiling everything there is running fine, but I would like to, to avoid um, as much as possible being aware and have everything in Windows existing Linux and Windows, but I still have a, a small problems. And finally, just to comment and to revisit again, the list to this small command. So remember that to have the latest uh, versions of Windows existing in, in, in Linux install and also the latest Windows update that it will solve many problems. I was facing many problems and when doing all these tests, I did many tests using many applications. So using the applications that I use for scientific computing, machine learning, also created applications like stuff like video recording, video editing, animation, solid modeling idea, a lot of CAD as well, and productivity. And I found a good balance of the solution to many problems. All the productivity stuff and creator applications, they work fine that the applications that were giving problems were my applications and the machine learning and stuff. Uh, then uh, be careful with the Hyper-B and just to show you something that also let me go. Uh, okay, so here, let me look at here, Hyper-B and you have turn Windows features on off and here you're going to have by default is you are using Windows Professional, you have it is your you have the home, you don't have hyper, hyper B. So be aware of that. So if by default is disabled and what you need. So if you have it enabled, 
it might give you problems with Windows existing Linux and this being where and it can slow down everything. So check this. But what you need to have to work with virtual machines is these two applications, virtual machine platform and Windows hypervisor platform. These two, you should have it, but this one should be disabled or if it is enabled, check if you are, if you, if you, you didn't have no this problem with the, with the course. So coming back to the list uh, here, uh, also do not minimize the windows. As I mentioned, it's a very strange behavior. You minimize, you lose priority and sometimes can, can slow down everything. I found it super weird also in VMware that sometimes you minimize VMware and, and you get into the, those problems, the screen savers and the screen, do, uh, disable all those options. Do not turn off the, the screen, disable the screen. Saber also do not go into sleep mode. So be careful to set up all this stuff to, to disable. Otherwise, you are going to have problems on about bat battery care mode. Also disable disable those options. The, the one was with Windows, but also the one with your computer. In my case, you now I have this Asus and you have this one. And it's quite funny that after I found all the solution to everything, I was having problems with some other applications. And then I enter here and Finally, I found that this was my problem. I disabled that. Uh, Intel Extreme Tuning. Okay, that is a nice, interesting application. Overclocking. Be careful. Whatever you do there, it, it is at your own risk. And no need to mention again. Just if you are running with your battery, you know that everything will be will be slow. So I think this is the end of this video. It was a lot of research I did here, and I hope that you are going to find it useful for those having this processor. This is not the fault of the, of the computer manufacturer, Asus, and, uh, Asus, Microsoft, whatever uh, company, uh, HP that is doing the, 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 the computer. This is a problem of Intel with this, this stuff. And yeah, that's it. So thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.